I'm sure many, if not all of you, have seen the TikTok meme where a girl in anime cosplays lip-syncing to the song Hit or Miss while dancing. Although it became a meme, and therefore subject to not being taken seriously, many people, including me, found that they want to keep watching it over and over again. I'm sure that everyone thought that they were weird at first, but once people started talking to each other about it, they found that more and more were doing the exact same thing. As is to be expected, this phenomenon is limited to males. But before you dismiss it as just guys drooling over an attractive girl, think again. If there are so many videos of women that are considered attractive, then why would none of them have the same mesmerizing effect on men that this one does? Now, the answer does ultimately boil down to charm, but there are many different elements that join together in this 15 second experience to make it what it is. The user Rodel the Outcast made a lengthy and detailed comment about it, which pretty much covers these elements, and why he, in particular, found them enchanting. I'll read the comment, and then add a bit more after I'm done. Quote, I have deduced the reason behind why and how this video is cursed. For one, this girl is highly attractive, and her cosplay is actually good, appealing to the eyes of watchers. The cosplay also reveals her stomach, which is nicely shaped, not too skinny, not too fat, not ripped, but a really natural look. It's intriguing to look at. Her makeup is good as well. It really brings out her eyes and makes her smile a lot more appealing. Secondly, I find myself fascinated with the way she moves. It's very smooth and fun to watch. For example, the spin at the start that she stops suddenly and kind of leans forward and quickly straightens out is very well executed and goes along with the beat, making it satisfying to watch. I'm most obsessed with the part, however, when the song says, You got a boyfriend, and she is kind of bobbing her way gracefully towards the camera. The way she moves most of her entire body when walking is really satisfying. She even does it to the beat of the song, and I'd also like to point out that her shoulder movements throughout the most of the video. They add a lot more energy to her movements. On that note, that leads us to my third point, the song and how she utilizes the song to complement her movement. The song and lyrics themselves are not that great, but the woman singing the song sings it well. That, however, is not the reason why this matters, though. The voice of the actual singer really fits the girl in the video. It not only complements her cosplay, making it cuter, but also complements her dancing. As I mentioned earlier, the way she moves is simply satisfying to watch, and part of this is because of how seamlessly and smoothly she moves to the song. The spinning at the beginning goes very well with the chorus ending in the background. That little booping of her chest after the spin I mentioned earlier is timed when the rapper makes a rapper sound that transitions into the girl's part makes it mesmerizing and satisfying to watch. Her head boops are very well timed, too. When the song says hit or miss, as well as the huh after, she moves her head slightly to the beat. That makes it better than had she not moved her head. And then the little bopping slash walking thing she does that I mentioned earlier is so perfectly timed to the beat and the words of the song. And then, my last point, is her facial expressions. Obviously she has a beautiful face, but there are smaller things she does that bring out some of her key features. The way her eyebrows move is one. She raises them a bit to help her eyes look bigger at some points. Her smile is simply a work of art. It's just very pretty and natural. Not much I can say on it. It just makes people happy. Well, actually that wasn't my last point. I found myself watching the video and getting sad that it ended because it's mesmerizing to watch. Then I realized that each time it repeated, I was hoping that it wouldn't cut off at the end, thus rewatching it thinking, Maybe there is more. This is probably because the song cuts at the end, leaving a feeling of incompleteness to the video, making me want to rewatch it to find the completeness, if that makes sense. Because it stops in the middle of a song in her dance move, and you feel as if there is more, making you want to rewatch it under the illusion that there is more, I guess. End quote. As the comment said, her movements and facial expressions were perfectly timed and executed and the song fits really well with the girl dancing. But the cut at the end is what really draws you in. It cuts off mid-line and, as the comments said, it makes you feel incomplete, as if rewatching will somehow make you feel complete. 
but it just ends abruptly again and again and again. And, like a drug, it keeps bringing you back, making you want more and more. In fact, it even triggers the same part of the brain as addictive drugs do. Many people may not realize it, but even things as simple as eating candy or watching YouTube can trigger this part of your brain. The ending of the video dismays your brain because of its completion principle, the need to complete a task before moving on to the next. But because we never see the end, our brain finds it hard to move on and, and thus our Nyan Nyan cosplay addiction begins. I know I'm overthinking a simple 15 second meme way too much, but I found this fascinating and I hope you did too. So I hope you're enlightened now if you found yourself replaying the video again and again. I know I am. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Like it if you liked it, and dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe if you feel like it. I don't know. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.